everybody and welcome to Null Point Kids 2021. My name is Vash, this is Sean and this is Sky. We are so glad that we could be with you this morning. We really miss you guys and we're looking forward to worship with you even though we can't be in person. But what we're going to do is worship in our homes for the meantime. So we ask you, call your parents, let them come along with you, your brother or your sister, and let's worship Jesus together. But before we worship, Sky is going to read for us from Isaiah 12. Sing to the Lord, for he has done glorious things. Let this be known to all the world. Shout aloud sing and sing for joy. People of Zion, the great, for great is the Holy One of Israel among you. Isn't that awesome? And I love how they are singing with joy and uh, singing to God because He's amazing. So let us pray and ask God to help us to sing in the same way that we read about the people in the Bible sang to Him. So let's close our eyes and let's pray. Father, we come to you this morning. We thank you for a new year. We thank you for each child and each parent watching this morning. And we pray that even as we worship you, that you would be glorified. Amen. Amen. Let's, Let's sing, sing together. You're the only one that I could live for You're the only one 
It's all I'll ever need and more I've found a treasure Endless joy and perfect peace Sent down from heaven Now made alive inside of me He's all I want and he's all I need So I will follow where he leads God is good and he's good to me He's all I want and he's all I need So I will follow where he leads
today and tell us why is it important to read our Bibles? To tell us about God, to tell other people about Him and to overcome the evil one. Okay, that's great. Does the Bible also tell us about not only about who God is but also about ourselves? Yes. About who we are and it also helps us like you said to overcome evil, the evil one and how to live our life. So guys, the Bible is very very important. Because if you really want to know what God is like, what Jesus is like, we have to open up the Bible and read it for ourselves. It also tells us who we are. And so I want to ask you some questions, Sky. Do you love reading your Bible? Yes. Okay. And so in the Bible, do we have how many testaments do we have? Two. The Old Testament and the? New Testament. And do you know that the Bible, the Old and the New Testaments, is one big story it's the same story tell us about god how he made everything how he made us it tells us about how people have sinned and fallen short of god and how throughout the ages eventually he would send his son jesus christ to save us and so the bible is one big story do you know that sky yes okay and so as we were reading or uh, going through the gospel project with you over last year we went through the whole of the Old Testament together. And there we learned about all of the promises that God made. That he would one day send a savior to save us from our sins because of our sin that we got from Adam and Eve. And so there were many people from Abraham to kings to prophets to judges to all of these different people that were telling us about somebody special who would come one day to save us. And that was Jesus. 
And so we, at the end of last year, we spoke about and we, we taught you about Jesus and how he came, how he was born, how he lived an amazing, perfect life, how he preached this good news, how he uh, taught us and how he healed people, how he cast out demons. And eventually, Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Do you remember that sky when Jesus died on the cross for our sins? Yes. Okay. And then after he died for our sins, after three days, what happened? He rose again from the dead. He rose again from the dead. And then afterwards, he spent 40 days telling us, tell, or teaching everybody what it means, or what the kingdom of God is. And then he ascended to heaven. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. And when he ascended to heaven, he told us to do something. He told us and left us with a mission to tell people about Jesus. And so friends and boys and girls, today our story is about how we should respond to Jesus. We should respond with joy and with singing because God's promises have come true in Jesus. He came to save us. He died for our sins. He rose again. And so we should sing to him with joy and we should want to tell others about him. So today's story from Isaiah is about singing to God in that day when Jesus saves us. So Sky, if you have your Bible there, can you read for us from Isaiah chapter 12? And if you can just read verse 4 for us, please. And you will stay in that day. Give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Wonderful. So we're going to now uh, go to our Bible story. So pay close attention about how we see this verse taught to us in our story today. Hey guys, it's time for our Bible story now. So I hope you got your Bibles with you. I have mine here. If you don't have yours, press pause and quickly go and grab your Bibles now. Isaiah the prophet told God's message to the people of Judah. He told them about a time in the future, the day of the Lord, when God will judge the earth and bless his people. What will that day be like? Isaiah said that it will be a happy day. God will rescue his people from sin. God's people will sing and thank him. Isaiah said, on that day, you will say, I will praise you, Lord. You were angry with me, but you did not stay angry. You have comforted me. Yes, God is the one who saves me. I will trust him and not be afraid. The Lord gives me strength and keeps me safe. God will save his people and you will have joy. You will sing, praise the Lord, make his name famous. Tell everyone what he has done. Sing to the Lord. He has done glorious things. Tell everyone in the world about him. People of Zion, shout and sing. The Holy One of Israel is with you, and he is great. Isaiah looked forward to the day when God's words would come true. God would bless his people, and they would be thankful and tell everyone about him. By sending his son, God kept his promise to save people from sin. Jesus died on the cross and rose again. Those who trust in him rejoice and are saved. Okay, so let us remember the most important part of the story. We read from Isaiah, and Isaiah was looking forward into the future and telling us that Jesus would one day come, and he did come. And God fulfilled and kept his promise because Jesus did come, and he did die for our sins and rise again from the dead. And so we can respond to Jesus by trusting in him like we heard, by thanking him and singing to him, but also by telling others about him. And so now we're going to finish up with our memory verse. And our memory verse is from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3 and 4. So that's 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3 and 4. And this is what it says. That Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, that he was buried and that he rose on the third day, according to the scriptures. 
Sky, you want to say it after me? Yes. Say, that Christ died for our sins. That Christ died for our sins. According to the scriptures. According to the scriptures. That he was buried. That he was buried. That he rose again on the third day. That he rose again on the third day. According to the scriptures. According to the scriptures. And that's our memory verse for today. And that's amazing because it tells us that in our Bible we can see that Jesus died according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again and that is our hope when we trust in him we will be forgiven we will be right with God we will also have the hope of living forever with Jesus and that is a glorious hope which should make us joyful in our hearts we should thank him and sing to him and we should tell everybody about Jesus I hope you enjoyed today's story. Sky, does it remind you of anything? I, it reminds me of God's plan for me. That's right. Boys and girls, do you remember God's plan for me? Do you? Sky, so should we do it? Yes. Okay. God, God rules. We sinned. God, God provided. provided. Jesus gives. And, and we, we respond. Fun. Did you do it at home? Well done, boys and girls. Do you know that God rules over everything? The stars in the sky, right down to the little ants in the ground, everything God rules over, even us. But you know, in our own hearts, we do things that are wrong and we sin against God. But you know, God loves us so much that he would send his one and only son, Jesus Christ, for us. And you know what Jesus has done for us? What has Jesus done for us, God? Died on the cross for our sins. That's right. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And the most important thing, boys and girls, is that Jesus rose again. And when he rose again, Jesus offers us forgiveness of sin and eternal life. And when we put our trust in Jesus, we are saved, we are rescued, we have a promise of one day being with Jesus. And that is the best hope we can ever have. And we can rejoice, like how Isaiah says, there's a rejoicing. So boys and girls, when we put our trust in Jesus, we have such rejoicing. It was awesome being with you this morning. I hope you enjoyed it. Boys and girls, for more information on today's lesson, can you go and ask your mom or your dad or your grandpa or your granny or whoever to go to npcc.org.za and you will get more information. And don't forget to tune in next Sunday again at 10.30 and we look forward to seeing you there. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.